Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is Resonant Rise. And, uh, today is the day that I attempt to cheese the Chocolate Quest dungeons. But first, I may have went a little bit overboard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, we got a good bit of steel in there. We got a bit of redded stone. It's not all the redstone that was available on the ground, but I pretty much filled the barrel. Uh, however... I do want to work on what I've been working on. If you know anything about this mod pack, or this particular fork of said mod, you know what we're about to do. Modular force field. And yes, I am going to need this mini force matrix. I did just spend a stack of diamonds, four stacks of redstone, and four stacks of steel. But, now we're also going to make uh, five of these energy tablets, as we've done before. Now, we'll take the energy tablets... And they go in the middle. We're making coercion derivers. Now, I'm making these for a very good reason. You need those to generate the power for the... Uh, I'm having difficulties remembering the name. Modular force fields. Now, on top of needing that, you need the capacitor. This is what handles distribution of power to all of the different modules. Then, in order to build the next module we need, we're going to need some shock modules. Now, those shock modules then go in here with a vanilla ender chest, and a bunch of these, and we end up with an interdiction matrix. Now, I'm making a strong box from Thermal Expansion because it's something I can easily pick up to tote around the uh, things here. However, there is one... Thing that we still have yet to make. It is this, which we don't actually have a gas tier. Uh, let's just take three of these and three of these. I'm pretty sure this is the recipe. And, whoops. Oh, I always screw it up. Electric. Oh. Ew, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. As you can tell, I had made up a good bit of these. Suppose I need four of that, three of that. I probably... I don't know where did I put it. How'd you get back in there? I probably should have gotten this part ready, but I completely forgot about it until realizing I still needed the tier. Now... There is an alternate way that I could gain access to a tier, but, uh, plunk. That's a little bit unnecessary. And I got a... Well, first of all, I got these, but I'm not going to do anything with them. They're almost broken. And somewhere... I got an enchanted bow from a skeleton, but I'm just going to grab... Is this? Yeah, this is the one. I'm just going to grab two stacks of arrows for now. And then I'll put this bag back... I'll put the strong blocks down because it's not necessary to me at this exact moment. Put all these things in it. Not you. Because I'm going to need a gas tier. Now, as you can see, the dark craft tier doesn't properly... Uh, you know, certain things don't take... Uh, or dictionary of it, so I can't use it. And instead of converting it, I'm going to... You know, this is a really bad starting place in the nether. Uh, oh good, Viroxy's trying to poison me. There is a lot of nether fortress around me here. Dang it. Hmm. Okay. It's just going to be faster to... As it currently stands, due to lack of things such as flight... The fastest way is going to be to make the automatic dictionary converter from Mariculture. Which I do believe one of the things I need... I'll just do it this way. Uh, this guy. Yeah, I need two feathers, a written book, a pearl, and that's pretty easy. First order of business is to get some daytime so we can go look for a pearl. Sorry, I'm having a bit of an issue with uh, burping now. But, anyhow, now, 
Oh, by the way, if you've used my texture pack before, I just now fixed the clock and the compass so they function properly. Excuse me, friend, but you go away. Oh, and I have no idea where that uh, banner went. I took it out of the uh, thing to reorient it because it was faced the wrong way, and it vanished. I was kind of disappointed. Okay, so... Uh, I believe we need an ocean biome of some kind, and I very well could drown if I'm not careful. There's light over there. That might be an oyster. I believe oysters cause light. Or clam, or... Whatever you want to call it. No? It's just light for no good reason? Speaking of which... Plants underwater. How does this do with... And still take my air away? It's probably counted as a modified water block, basically. Uh, I look at coral reef. Hmm. Although I still need a clam. This is a problem. Hmm. I'm not seeing one. Oh, that makes it even harder to see. Now, I thought kind of ocean is this? I'm not in the ocean yet. This looks like it should be an ocean abyss. That is ridiculously deep. Perhaps not, though. Perhaps not. This doesn't change the fact that I still have no idea where I'm going to find a clam. I should probably find one and then come back. Eh... This so over here might be a proper thing as well. Although, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna find one and then I'll be back with you. Hmm, that's a bit of an awkward one. Apparently you can breathe in oil. I'm assuming this is oil. There's uh, unless this is just the most fail of world gens. Oh, well, this is just a fail world gen. Oh. Huh. Found an oyster though. Brought down a door so I could breathe, but this kind of screwed with that. Let's take me a bit of this uh, abyssal stone. Oh, that caused the update. That caused an update. Can I get out of here without drowning? Well, I'm not really afraid of drowning. Partly because I have torches. That should be enough to get me back to the surface. I actually didn't go that far. As you can see, 203 meters from the placed waypoint. And I took a slight detour past the sludge pit. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do anything with that oil. Is that out in the water? Oh, good. Very good, actually. I like that. I have plans for that. Ow. Stupid thorns. The, uh... Uh, ominous forest has a lot of vines. And there's some poison ivy. Hooray! I hate you, Bibes of Plenty. Why do you do these things to me? Oh, hello here. So, now that we have this, we can start making progress. I also killed some squids, which is why I got raw squid. With any luck, raw squid should be usable in making the dictionary, automatic dictionary converter. If not, this could be a problem. Let's put that there. Oh, I forgot one very important thing, for sure. By the way, can you live under there? Maybe. I don't know how much water they need to have. I don't know much about oysters. The only thing I know is that if you give them sand, they over time will make you a pearl. 
Uh, seems alive and happy. Uh, I'll come back whenever we get the uh, the pearl from him. And in the meantime, I'm going to go seek out some chickens because I clearly need two feathers. So, actually, no, I need three feathers because I need a written book. So, I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Okay, so I waited for about five to ten minutes and I gave up. So we're going to use an ender pearl instead. Because, well, I can. So I'm just missing the two copper. Might as well clear out that copper. Bam! Automatic dictionary converter. Uh, we'll throw it right there. Now if we just click the tier up there, we can then click on it. And now we run that through. Guest tier. So then we can put that here and get the anti-hostile matrix. That'll probably kill the pig man. So, this block right here is marking where I want the interdiction matrix. Then, I'm going to just put the capacitor on top of it, because I can. I'm going to put these all around it. I could make uh, sticks in the sawmill at a much better rate, but... Eh. Uh, I'm, uh, hmm. Yes. That is my response. Uh, we'll just take you. That's part of the reason I'm leaving it there. It gives me a portable power source. Uh, okay, yeah. I will just... Oh, my wrench must be... Over here, not in here. Just getting rid of that flint. Oh, I found out about the uh, the diamond dollies, by the way. They can be used to pick up spawners. That is their unlimited usefulness. Not terribly unlimitedly useful to me, but it's a thing. Okay, so, now if I put this in here, the warning range is 3 and the action range is 0. So what we're going to need is scale modules. And I'm probably going to need a bunch of these at some point, but let's just do this, because this should be well more than enough. Not you. Okay, you can only... Yeah. And each one of these can produce, I believe, 15-ish, something like that. 67. I'm not sure if I can trust what this is saying. Yeah, that's a more accurate number for what I was looking for. We can turn this guy on, though. Uh, I suppose I'll make some speed upgrades for good measure. Uh, you know what? Let's just make all 21 of those, because we've still got some of the modules left over. It'll make him take a little bit of power, but he can move it faster now. And now if we turn these on, start throwing power into there, that'll start linking to here. And the way this is designed, it's going to try and keep everything at the same percentage. So it'll take a second for these two. They're going to sit here pretty much full. Now, if you look at this, it says S, meaning per second. And I've already drained... I mean, it's not draining that fast, but we're going to be on a time limit once it gets going. So if I click on this... It's... Just give it a second. Okay, it's gaining in value. So, we should be able to... I extended this a little bit. Safely explore... This place. I believe I just heard one dying. Yep. Now this place is tall, and that thing's still gaining in power. By the way, whenever I killed the squids, I got some squid meat, and I cooked it up, and I got calamari. I hate stairs. Okay, I hate angles in general. So let's go over here, and for good measure... Oh, I do have the entirety of the scale in there. Okay. So that should be able to reach the whole way up. And with any luck, we're not going to run out of power anytime soon. Now, 
Is that more stairs? It looks like more stairs. With zombie spawner. So we'll just do that. He shouldn't spawn anything. I will take the gunpowder. Skeleton just died. If I hurry, I can actually pick up quite a bit of the drops. Wow, this place is a lot of stuff. Steak, pork chops. But as you can hear, everything is dying. That is a lot of lights. Beds. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. All the stuff will be here, but there's just certain things like that that I want. Oh, I'm sorry, are you having a bad time? Hey, Steel Paxel. Cool. But I did say that I was planning on cheesing this. Who needs to be afraid of the entire place whenever they get killed by MFFS the moment they spawn? <laughs> Ooh. Why why are you though? I don't understand the point of the light. Another jukebox. Surely at least one of these is going to have a chest, right? I have n eh? Ooh. Saplings. <laughs> Double chests. Take that and that. I might as well take the bread as well while I'm at it. Uh, ooh, an enchanting table. And another chest. There's also a few anvils. Uh, nothing too important there. I'll definitely come back to it at some point. But, uh, let's go have a bit of a higher explore. The ME controller has pretty much signified the fact that I'm going to start up on ME probably very soon. Oh, another zombie spawner, and I hear dying Enderman. An Enderman dying means the great potential for an Ender Pro to be chilling out. Well, that thing's roof is made of hay. That is a ton of food in and of itself. So, I'm just basically gonna... I should probably light things up now, but I don't have to worry about anything. All the mobs are dying. Now, it looked like where I'd put a secret entrance. Free gunpowder for days. This is how you conquer a dungeon in style. Yes. Well, that under pearl I spent was totally worth it now. And this is a skeleton spawner. Another Paxel. Wonderful. There's also some Vulcanite. And that was what I was looking for, that you can actually physically make blaze rods out of. So, so far I found two zombie spawners. What is going on there? You know I'm going to have to flick that switch, right? And yes, I realize I just left a diamond on the ground. As I'm sure you noticed, regular materials are not going to be an issue for me. <laughs> that death noise is music to my ears. No, not you. Ooh, there's a chest in there. Ah, uh, spiders. Thank you for dying. <laughs> Apparently I've de-evolved into an evil mastermind, though. Guess I'll have to continue that theme. Oh, hey, give me that. So that's the end of my torches, but I have nothing to be afraid of. Once I've 
thoroughly conquered this place and recovered anything I could possibly need from it, I am going to tear it down. Trust me on that one. What? That looks like... What did I do? One should probably not go around... Really? No, no, I have two of them. So, I'm going to end up coming through here off camera and recovering every single one of these. I can't light that up. Because I don't need any more torches. Some bars in there. Ooh. Some extra hearts. I don't know why, but for some reason they don't always take effect. So did that light that up down there? It did. There's ladders. Huh. Cool. Doesn't really serve a purpose, but cool. Ooh. Take your gold. I want that. Having two of them means I can finally transfer power between multiple locations. So that is a major thing. Gold gears. Very good. Very good. Those potions are practically worthless. They only restore, like, two arts. So is that it? Game over? I win? Have I defeated the evil castle? That might be. What I'm probably going to do is make a bunch of cardboard boxes or something. Oh, we may not be done yet. Make a bunch of cardboard boxes or something to move all the chests down. And the spawners and so on and so forth. Oh, hello. Uh, we don't need gravel. I'll take a block of diamond. Ooh. Throw that in there with that one. Block of diamond is something I don't want to just deteriorate. Yeah, 64k fluid. Oh, yeah. You know I'm taking that. You've, you've seen my series before. You know what I think of that record. Wow. Really? A resonant energy cell. This whole thing holds about as much RF as the entirety of my previous construction of capacitor banks. Ow. Is that water? Yeah, that's that water pool down at the bottom. <laughs> well, that's a way down. So what I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to get enough cardboard boxes to recover at least the spawners. Uh, I don't really need this guy anymore. Although he's not training, draining power that fast, so I think I'm just going to leave him there at the moment. He's doing a good job. This is empty. Because this isn't transferring fast enough. Uh, let's see if I can actually fix that real quick. Oh. Uh. That should resolve that. So let's quickly make some more speed modules. Oh good, I put everything in there. I'm good at this. Uh, yeah, I'll do it like that. I don't want to use all of them on speed modules. How is this doing now? Is it gaining? Good. Good! These aren't really going to go empty at all. Because uh, they're generating quite a bit of power, and this guy can't move all of it. So... This guy is at full power. He's going to be running off of this thing for a good long while. So, 
I have some uh, gathering of items and sorting and whatnot to do. And I could probably charge the cell. Uh, Mine Factory Reloaded has a chunk loader? Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Although it is stupidly expensive to make. But now that I got two of these, I can start teleporting power around. Which means I could digital mine in more places. I can also send... Uh, they're basically a thermal expansion tesseract. So what I can do, for example, is I could put it, say, here. And then if I had a piece of power cable, I could link it into it, and I could also send the items back and get have everything get processed automatically. So those are good to have. Very, very good to have. The ME controller means that I can get started on that network pretty quick. Get that mod going. So, I have some things that I'm going to need to do. Although, before we do anything, did I have a jukebox in any one of these? No! Quick! We must go up and recover the jukebox! We must have the jukebox! I wish to end on music. I can remove that stupid wall now. So, I don't have to worry about anything trying to kill me in here now. In fact, I should be able to just walk around and get free mob drops all the time currently. But I want the jukebox. I'm probably going to use modular force field to tear these down, but that's a whole different project in and of itself. And one that I'm going to save for on camera, so don't worry about that. Uh, where was the jukebox? There it is. So, I have proved that I am an evil mastermind and com can completely cheese the uh, Chocolate Quest dungeons with minimal effort. I can literally get to the point where I can walk through them and not even care. So, with that, I'm going to call this good. I have a lot of cleaning up to do and gathering of things, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.